What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John the Gamer here. Welcome you back to episode 68 of the Saga Lot. Hopefully, y'all having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, last episode, we were out here with Sean Ta. No, that's not her name. Cheryl. Um, and Cheryl had taught us a lot of stuff about how you need to avoid double battles. And yeah. So anyway, let's continue on with this episode. <clears throat> I've gotten a lot of stuff done today, which is nice. I love days, like productive days, because honestly, productive days are good days. It doesn't matter like how it works or what happened and yada, yada, yada. The fact that it was just productive. So productive, you may ask, what did you do today? Because you know, you're talking about being productive and you know, you're out here recording video at seven o'clock, which is, you know, a good time for once in your life to record a video instead of 11 o'clock at night. Um, so, here's what I did today. I finished my Linux class. Woo! Got a 99.68%, which is lovely. You know, can't get much better than that. Um, and I'm excited about that. Because, you know, getting them better and making sure more things are done and how it, we want to work it out. It's just nice. It's, it's just, I'm so happy about that. Um, secondly, we also... We're working on some stuff for February 18th of 2022. I can't wait for it. Um, can't really talk much about it, but basically it's my nine year channel anniversary and I want to do something massive for that day. I can't believe that day is already on its way, which is just like, what the heck? Uh, like, does it already have to be <laughs> almost February of 2022? Do I really have to have been on YouTube for almost nine years? Like, are you kidding me? That's a lot. <laughs> and it's just crazy to me to think about the fact that it's been nine, we're, we're closer to nine years than we are to eight. <laughs> like, um, or actually, wait, when this video goes up, are we closer to nine than we are to eight? Uh, no, no, we're not. We're almost there. We're almost at the halfway point. It's my eight and a half years on YouTube. Uh, yeah, uh, if you can get like, just, I just want like a big plaque right here because I've been creating content for the longest of time. Just like a, You've done YouTube for 10 years, Plague. If anybody can work on that and send it to me, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Although that's like a year to come, but still. Like, I can't believe that I, like, it's been that long. Feebass, are you kidding me? Bro, this girl. But anyway, I just can't believe it's been 10 years. Like, that's a lot of years to be on YouTube and to be, do, be doing stuff. Like... You know, we always made that joke that I've been on YouTube for seven years. And now it's like, that joke's gone. Because that's already almost two years old. <laughs> like, I remember that joke being fresh. And so it's weird to me that that joke isn't fresh. Because, well, one, it's old. And like, Joy was here during that. Right? So, it's just, another thing that's crazy to me is that Joy's been here for that many years. And like this year, I've gotten to know Joy a lot more, and it's been just a great experience. So I'm getting, I feel like I'm kind of, especially this year, even though it hasn't been as crazy of a year in terms of content just being displayed out to y'all. It's been more of a learning year, I guess, and a year where I'm learning how to do stuff, what to do, what makes sense, and how it makes sense, and how it relates to content for now. Um, and trying to learn how to improve and be better as a content creator. Like, there's a lot that I'm learning this year, and I love that I'm learning this, and I'm choosing to learn it. Um, wow, this this battle is just easy. Um, but yeah, I'm like choosing to learn all these awesome, cool things and getting better. And quite frankly, I just it's crazy that I'm um, like this year we hit 1K, and there's been a lot of like awesome things that resulted because of that as well. It's just lovely, and I just, I can't thank you guys enough for the amazingness that you guys have provided for me. Uh, I'm not trying to be a sappy, but that's what it's turning out to be today. Um... Oh, ha! My controller disconnected. Ha ha ha! Makes a difference. But yeah, I'm not trying to be sappy today, but that's just what it's going to turn out to do. No, that's fine. I, I live with the fact that it's going to be sappy. Oh. Oh, great. My controller, like, completely disconnected. Really? Do you want to be that way, controller? Why? I'm literally getting into this good, cool conversation. You want to be that? I 
wants to play that game with me, which is kind of annoying, because now I gotta stupidly do the controls. But anyway, while I do the controls, um, that's just, like I said, to me it's amazing, and it's crazy that we are in the state that we are. Um, so how do I suppose I save? Make a save state. That's how I suppose that I save. <laughs> and then I get this all back and going. Anyways, sorry. I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> the game just wanted to be dumb. And you know what? Or I should say my controller wanted to be dumb, not the game. The game was perfectly fine. Um, my controller decided it just didn't, it just wanted to just stop working out of nowhere, which has never happened on a video before. So, uh, thanks controller. I appreciate it. You are the best. Did you know that? Do you know that you're the best controller? The best controller ever. The controller that wants to, you know, break from the mold. Oh, geez, controller. Oh, duh. I need to save or open the save state. Load state. I'm not used to doing this. So it's like, my brain's like, what? You have to load a state? No. You don't. You definitely don't have to load a state. Sorry for the stop. But let's freaking go. We got leftovers. Leftovers. Oh, yeah. That's amazing already to have. I am very happy for that. And we're going to give that straight away. Oh my gosh. We have so many items. I'm going to give that straight away to... Uh... I'm going to go with Bill. Yeah, Bill. Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science boy. Yo. Okay. I just, I'm, I, I forgot that she had a terrible one. Um, no. I, um, I say let's not lose Curious. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Run. Don't let Curious die. Curious is too amazing for that. Ivy sword. Yeah, I can't let Curious die. I can't. I, there's just nothing I can do about that. That's like, no. Not letting that happen. Y'all. Sorry for this episode being the way it is. There's not really much I can really realistically say at the moment. I'm just too enthralled with everything that's going on and like in life and all that stuff. Um, and we're already seven minutes into the video, so that makes it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of crazy to me that there's so much going on and that I'm able to accomplish so much at a given time. Let's freaking go. Just good on. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was... Sorry, Mike. Sorry, y'all. I better... I shouldn't clap. If I'm not... If, and if I'm going to clap, don't do this directly into the freaking mic. Like, oof. I'm sorry. That was bad. That was a peak if I've ever heard one. Um, anyway, carrying forward. They're like, ooh, so I can say, I mean, I'm so good to be really good on my team right now. <laughs> it's not like you have. I must have mine. Uh, anyways. <laughs> uh, I make, sometimes, I, I love making fun of the stupid stuff that I say. Because it's just like, bruh, you already have what you, they're literally like, it'd be nice to have this on my team. Like, oh, of course. Psychic shouldn't kill though, right? We clearly have not learned our lesson. Uh, about that. Uh, okay. But we should be able to catch it. You're like... You're basically an Eevee. Facade? Hello? Thank you. Caught you in a pretty, pretty premiere ball. Let's go. Uh, we're gonna name you Sakura. Also, Naruto was amazing, by the way. I want to point it out. Naruto was like, bruh, just so you know, you can get your name raider in the second gym. So I don't have to go edit Alana which is amazing because I'm like I feel bad for having a thing named Roserade but literally I can edit it to it's gonna be easier just to do this um but yeah so it's gonna be super nice and I'm super excited that uh I was told that because now I'm like okay that's cool I don't have to worry about this and not having to worry is always a good good thing to have uh, under your belt is not just you know, not having to be like, oh, by the way, this, that, the other, this, that, the other, this, that, the other. It's like, just, you know, right here. Just all you have to worry about. 
Um, so I'm super happy. Also, I am completely on pace. Oh my gosh, there's another honey tree. Bruh. All that. Oh, Joy's gonna trigger it. I can't trigger Joy. <gasps> oh, this isn't a new encounter, is it? <laughs> this isn't a new encounter. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. Oh, that hurts my soul. That hurts my soul. It's freaking magic. It's even female. Oh. <laughs> Ryan, the freaking heart. That, oh, that sucks. Cause I know for fa I know for a fact that the ne that route before is route uh route uh, two hundred five as well. You know, I get to go through all that heartache just to make <laughs> sure that Joy isn't triggered. By the way, I literally would never have known there was Gyarados in here at all. I'm not blaming Joy because I chose to do it, but. <laughs> I'm not definitely I can't blame joy because I like I said I chose to go to get the berries but I also did it not to trigger joy so <laughs> that sucks I'm like that's all that I'm gonna think about the rest of the episode is the fact that there's just a Gyarados chilling right here if I would have waited 2.5 seconds instead of freaking deciding Ooh, let's go ahead and freaking you know use a uh fishing rod encounter to see if we can get it on a fishing rod, then I would have been able to catch a Gyarados. So it was my impatience when we really didn't need an encounter. I was impatient. We're like, I need to get my encounter. Might as well do it now. Oh, I hate myself for that now. <laughs> Hindsight's always 2020, but still, like, oh, for it to be right there right in front of us for it to be just present at least we've seen one but we might not ever see one ever again but also chat would have killed it it's my mascot let's be fair chat has an opportunity to kill my mascot they're killing my mascot so i would have had it for two episodes of something to hide um, although, I also would have played it smart and kept it in the box, but still. Ugh! I'm so triggered. That's so triggering to me. Okay, so the, the name raider is somewhere here. I think they, I think he's at the house to the left of the Pokemon Center. No. It is not this house, but that's where you get the Explore Kit. Which then allows you to, uh, what's it called? It's the Explore Kit. And that allows me to get my fossils, that's it. Maybe you meant the house to the left of the gym. The Pokemon Center's in the gym kind of look similar. No, there's absolutely nothing here. Okay. Empty house do 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 do. Empty house do 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 do. Empty house do 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 do. Empty house. That was weird. You know what? It happened. Just let it happen. And I'm sorry for getting a second in your head. <laughs> That's all I can say. It happened. Gotta let it happen, and then just, it's fine. Is this the name raider? There! Left of the Mart! Naruto told me the Pokemon Center! Oh my gosh. Now I'm. Alana! Yeah, I think Alana deserves this. And for those who don't know, Alana actually supported so much during Month Lock that it's just amazing to me. How much the support was there and what happened and yeah so anyway Alana is the beautiful nickname and we're gonna get my encounter and then we're gonna end the episode that would be perfect timing to end the episode but yeah so I just like I said I hope you guys have a wonderful day that would
Oh, the stupid keyboard. I just unplugged it to make sure to get the controller to work. So I'm like, oh, well, might as well get the controller to work. That would be great. But then I just don't. Uh, it's dumb. Hi, Cynthia! Hi, Bay! How are you today? Oh my gosh! That is a Pokedex! Oh my gosh! I'm, you know, it's your boy, John Thinking Overdo here, and you know, you gotta remember my name because I'm gonna hopefully be able to go to the freaking, uh, fight you, and you're probably gonna wreck me and end Sogalock, but it's totally fine because I know you have a level 80, and you're gonna teach me so many good things about Pokemon! And you know, Eterna City is a great city, and I'm gonna get some encounters because I got two more left, and end the episode thank you so much for a cut i can get another item i do appreciate that it does help me significantly especially when i have a taurus in the back that could use some awesome stab stab is beautiful and uh yeah bye bay that was weird <laughs> i don't think i've ever like done a voice like that And yeah, so let's talk to the thingy ma doodle. Oh my gosh, Dialga is like so amazing. I, I agree. You know what else is amazing? That there's a hidden item back here that I'm sure Joy already knows about. Luxury ball. You know what? It's just a luxury for you guys to know that there's a hidden item there. That That's what it was, you know. The game said, oh, by the way, John's giving you this luxury, so you should totally subscribe today. Learning about new awesome items in places that you've never been to before. That's what the game's telling you. So I don't think you should... I, sh I, <laughs> I don't even know how to do this. Subscribe to me today, thanks. <laughs> I don't think you should listen to what the game is telling you to do. I, I could have actually pulled that off. And, you know, I kind of, in hindsight, wish I pulled that off. Because that would have been, like, just good. But, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't pull it off. Um, and it's totally okay. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I, it's just like, I can't. Also, why did, it's 2001. And it just turned dark. So, 8 o'clock is the dark time? I didn't know. I figured it would be, like, earlier than that. Kind of like in Gen 7, where it's, like, it's actually feasibly, or pretty early. Come on. Let me get my encounter game. I swear you can fish. I swear I'm not being dumb. You might have to have a certain rod. So, you know what? It's going to be actually a pretty quick, a much quicker episode than normal. But we're going to go ahead and get our final encounter of today. And it's going to be a, and a really good Pokemon. A death episode's coming up too. Let's, I'm actually totally, that's chill. That's chill. Although, I need to make sure I'm careful. Um... Uh, immediate Omni Boost. No, bye. Have a great day, Gengar. I'm, I'm glad that, you know, you saw me as an immediate threat. At least you respect me as a trainer. And I got $5,000 to sell. Okay. Well, that was a great episode and a great way to end the episode. It was a shorter episode, I know. But we got a gym leader battle coming up anyways. And, you know, we have to get that to use cut. So, anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Love you all so much. Keep up the amazing work you all do every single day. Next episode's of Jim. And, uh, yeah, I'm definitely nervous, but I can't wait for it. Love you all so much. Bye.